Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Road to Glory episode number 243. Thank you for deciding to come back and watch a new episode of the RTG today. Uh, it's Monday, so I hope you're all chilling. I hope you've all uh, <clears throat> not got too much of a weekend league hangover. Um, we're not quite there yet because, of course, today we've got to play that midsection of our games with tomorrow finishing them off. So if you do enjoy, do me a favor of hitting that thumbs up button. We're aiming for 3,000 likes. Can you make that happen? That will seriously make my day. Thank you. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. So, <clears throat> the team. Team's looking the same as it was yesterday. Obviously, vastly different to how it was the week before. Um, <clears throat> but we started off well. We started off very well. 5-0. Uh, and oh, And moving on into this. So, this was uh, Saturday afternoon gameplay right so this was my uh, first time playing since i went 5-0 on the friday uh and we come up against red kovacic red wambasaka red kyle walker but he obviously isn't a tots uh and then just like a i don't know like an average average team really wasn't that special um but uh you know what first game is of the day are like right you kind of start off a little bit rusty you haven't been on the sticks for a few hours and uh it's uh it's i don't know it's, Maybe some things don't necessarily go right. A few things go wrong. Things out of your favour. Things out of your control. Um, and, uh, and 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 that's how it's going to be. So a nil-nil first half. This guy then pushes for it in the second half like early doors. Gets inside with Mane. Knocks it into Icardi. Uh, just, again, bad positioning from me and David Luiz. Uh, I think I drag him over more than anyone. And there's always a gap for like, if they play it across my goal, there's always a gap for a, a striker to turn and finesse shot, which is that gap that I always look for when I'm attacking, which hardly ever happens. Um, but of course we made it happen there. We scooped round with, with Neymar to make this one, 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 you know, so we didn't let him stay in the lead for too long. Uh, but Icardi knocks it through to Mane here. Mane's just knocked it across and you know, thank God we've been able to defend that one. Um, got it away safely. Icardi though, Plays it through to Mane. I mean, and maybe, maybe my defender should kind of be getting that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was fine for that one to go through. But either way, a little bit, a uh, little bit frustrating to concede that goal. And then, of course, as last he does, he throws the kitchen sink at him, uh, and that's either going to go one way. I'm going to either equalise on you, or I'm going to go another goal down. And that's what happened. Uh, but Neymar does knock it into Ryan Kent. We hit the bar. Pretty much sums up my abilities in this very first game. Uh, I think, do we score from this, though? No, I don't think we do. I think we end up getting a half chance, and the goalie saves it. Yeah. So uh, it just wasn't really my game. Uh, I've. Uh, you won't believe this. I've got the Excel spreadsheet already open. Boys, I don't need to click anything. I just need to look at it. Uh, so from game number one, I've got Rusty first game of the day. He was average too. Yikes. So uh, maybe if we were a little bit more warmed up, we'd turn that game around and we win it. Or we don't, you know, do such sloppy defending to let him, uh, him score the goals. But uh, that is the nature of it, right? You can't just play all 30 games in one session and still be really like you know switched on and stuff for it you've got to sleep you've got to have uh, some time to then before you go into the next session and that's just how it is so uh, we take that loss uh we take that loss and just move on and almost class that as like our warm-up game you know we're going to take losses throughout the weekend league who really cares to be honest uh, let's just go into into the next game so we go one nil up and it is atal to score the goal Douglas Costa then sort of ends up losing the ball, but we luckily get it back with Jordan Henderson. Knock this one through to Douglas Costa again, and a solid finish from the Brazilian. Uh, I I absolutely don't know who the player is going to be to succeed him, like to be his successor. Because him and Neymar up top are just like exactly what I'm looking for. Pacey, agile, five-star, five-star players. Like what more can you really ask for? Unless there's some cool Tots player that really does fit the bill. I don't. I just don't see my strike force really changing, unless we get coins and we can get some of them cool prem tots in. Like, uh, like I'd love to try Mares, and Mares is getting like as my coin balance goes up towards the end of the weekend league, and Mares's price comes down a little bit. We're getting ever and ever closer, but um, we'd have to get some luck. We'd have to get some tradable luck, uh, and I might take tradable rewards this week just in case we can make some money uh, because. Uh, I'm I'm not too b bothered about like stocking the club up for upgrade packs for any of the other tots really. 
until maybe ultimate tots and then even that at that point like that's players from all leagues so uh so it's, it's not really like that we wouldn't get league specific upgrade packs would we I'd, at that point i just want to get a guaranteed ultimate tots in a pack um so upgrade time for me was really during the prem tots and i'm not super bothered about it anymore um, so maybe just taking the tradable rewards in the hopes that we get that 150k pack, which is just going to give us, even if it's like that rubbish left back from the, from La Liga Tots, who's probably like 50k or something, anything like that, you get one or two of them every, every couple of weeks. Uh, and, uh, and suddenly I go from having a few hundred K to, uh, eight or 900 K just because you get the odd player every now and again. That would be the dream. So uh, I've somehow turned this game around uh, with two shots, one goal on target in, in the entire first half. Uh, I felt a little bit lucky for it, but also, I don't know, maybe they were nice clinical opportunities. Uh, but this guy was good. He had a red Ronaldo and, and, and a couple of decent players. And uh, I didn't really think I was uh, going to stand a chance. I thought I was going to lose this game. Uh, but just, just the fact that I had those two goals was enough to obviously force him to then push to try and get more. It opens up a big gap in the defence. Ryan Kent, I mean, <laughs> Adama Traore climbing all over the back of Ryan Kent for a celebration. That is probably the sweatiest celebration you can possibly get on this game. Um, and it just, it was, it, I wouldn't be surprised if this was my opponent's first game of the day. Because a lot of his shots just felt like they weren't going in. Uh, keeper were making saves and stuff like that. We end up winning 3-2. Uh, so... I don't know who that guy is, but uh, I would say GG's. Like, I, I got lucky that my three shots on target were ones that actually went in. Um, and we'll take that one up to, to seven and one. What did I write there? Uh, yeah, I wrote like another tough game. Uh, everyone has multiple Premier League tots. Uh, and that's proven again by the next opponent with his Maguire, Son, Henderson, and Mares. Really nice team this time. And a, a foot birthday, Bale, who I don't think I've ever come up against before. Who I guess has got... Four-star skill, five-star weak foot, rather than five-star skill. Yeah, they would have upped his weak foot, right? Weird but lovely goal from Adama to start things off in this game. Uh, like a three-star weak foot. Seemed like a low-driven volley. It was awesome. I loved how that looked. I loved the technique. And I, I wish that was some sort of goal that uh, could be scored quite often on FIFA because it looked sick. But uh, my opponent did equalize with his red Jordan Henderson. Couldn't quite get the, the return on that one there from Adama. I think he was offside anyway. But we are going to push forward in uh, the late second half to try and get ourselves another goal. It works out for us because Adama Traore does knock it into Neymar. And we can uh, we can get up to 2-1 to in this game. Kent then knocks it into Neymar. Scoops around that defender. Takes the strike. That's another goal for Neymar. It's 3-1 now. How are we doing this? Uh, and we are actually going to just seal the deal by getting that, the second half hat trick from Neymar Jr. I mean, that was fortunate. That's so fortunate. It bobbled. It, it deflected onto the keeper who parried it straight back out to me. And I could volley it the first time. you got to hold your hands up and let, let, let them know when you get like a, a lucky goal. Um... But yeah, we uh, we get a 4-1 victory there, a second half hat-trick, or a really late hat-trick for, for Neymar in that game, uh, gets us the 4-1 win and, and puts us up to 8-1. Uh, and uh, then we come up against this, uh, Tots Rashford, Tots Kovacic, Tots Trent. Um, and it's actually not Tots Wan-Bissaka at centre-back, it's the, the ones to watch one. I thought for the whole of this game that it was the Tots one, uh, but it's Mane, it's this Mane, which still, he was like... A really early in form, I'm pretty sure. And he still really troubles me. It is his Kovacic that scores the goal to go 1-0 up, though. Uh, which is odd, considering he's got really poor shooting. Um, but he was in the right spot at the right time. Of course, he didn't need to do much. I've tried to move my goalkeeper in the, in the correct direction there. Uh, and I've moved him totally in the wrong direction. And left a completely empty net for Marcus Rashford to tap it into. So we're 2-0 down at half-time. And I... I I feel like I'm getting kind of battered uh, or just like toyed with by someone who's a much better player than me. Uh, and I think that that was the case. What have I written for this one? Um, oh, I've written absolutely battered by a better opponent. So that is, that's my uh, reaction to this game. Like I was 3-0 down just at the start of the second half. Um, but I decided not to quit just because, uh, you know, a lot of you said, you know, try not to quit, Tom. So uh, we'll, we'll give it a go and, and hopefully maybe just learn something. Maybe we learn a little trick about defending against someone good like this. Or maybe he just continues to score goals and I'm 4-0 down. Uh, but we do end up getting a goal, I think. Kent knocks it over to Neymar, who volleys it first time. And we get really lucky again that uh, De Gea, I think it was, couldn't save it. And we do get the goal. He was a 5 at the back guy and did play like that the whole game. 
game. But I guess he had his wing backs on like get forward or something because it was like over Mars and stuff. Um, and it was a really good technique. So I would say GG's to that one. I know I had more shots than him, but I, it really didn't reflect the game. The scoreline really reflected the game. I got battered, to be honest. Uh, and then I come up against this. Red Son, Red, Allison, Team of the Season, uh, Henderson, and what, who else did he have? Eusebio, Pele, was it? I, uh, all sorts. All sorts of crazy players. It was nil-nil at halftime. Pretty boring game, to be honest. Second half then starts with me losing a the ball there with Henderson. Or I feel like maybe I should have come away with that ball. But he one-twos it back from Pele and Eusebio. Eusebio is the one to, to just obviously shoot that with uh, no AI, AI block going to be happening there. It was too free, too open. Uh, and he was able to get himself a goal to go 1-0 up. I then stupidly give away a penalty because I thought that that shot was going to be a definite goal. Uh, and he is going to step up with Neymar. I think I stay down the middle. Yeah, and he just goes to the right. So a solid penalty from him. And a 2 nil scoreline with not long left so uh of course i had to throw the kitchen sink at him and that is what we do uh, i've brought ndd on i brought grimaldo on i brought kent on uh neymar knocks it through to ryan kent and he is able to get the goal 82nd minute uh what does this guy do well he does the smart stuff which is not really let me have another sniff at goal uh and uh and we come away 2-1 2-1 losers i've written in that one uh he was so average i felt like i should have won that's how I felt at the time. Uh, so, yeah, what, what is what it is. I had to take a little break because that's two losses in a row. Right, so I had to stop for a little bit and then go back into it later. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and this is going to be uh, the next game that we play. So, some sloppy defending. Uh, means that Mares still keeps the ball. That was Juan Basaka's fault, I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah, Mares kept the ball, got through, and of course he was going to score that. It's Tots Mares for Christ's sake. Uh, and then he get, I get completely wiped out by Davinson Sanchez, who does receive a red card, and uh, it does force my opponent to make some changes. I can't remember who and what he started playing where. But, uh, of course, he does now have 10 men, and it gives us a chance to get back into this match, which is what we do. Douglas Costa knocking it across to Neymar Jr. Uh, we do get our equaliser just before halftime, which is a really nice and important time to get one. And as you can see at halftime, it's looking like we've turned this game around a little bit. We've had a little bit more of it. I think we can come away with the dub. Uh... Okay, yeah, I know I know exactly what's going to happen just from looking at the spreadsheet. So Adama pushes up the right here. This is what I'm saying. This is why Adama's so crazy because he just drags defenders out. It left a massive gap for Neymar there just because he felt like he had to try and maybe get there to, to, to defend against Adama. That's what it does. And, of course, he had one less man on the pitch. It meant that we were able to get through, score our goal. Uh, Douglas Costa, then, is going to sprint forwards here. And uh, I think Neymar's going to try and go on his run. But we're going to spot Atal making that late run. And the Berber spin was perfect. Comes into the Algerian, and he is able to score. 3-1 up. Again, pushing down that right wing with Adama Traore. Knocking it, uh, or bringing it all the way down to the line this time. Knocking it back to Neymar. And he is able to finish in off the woodwork. Uh, sublime goal and that's gonna make him quit so um so yeah we are we are nine and three i think yeah so we went from five and oh all the way up to eight and one eight and one to then eight and three and uh and and and, and from there just uh, got that one more one more win to make it nine and three. So uh, what we did do was uh, get into the next level of our season pass. It's not going to unlock us a pack, unfortunately. That's the next level, uh, and we are able to get uh, a new badge. I chose the Ram just because I guess it looks like the most similar to the current badge that we've got. But is it going to replace the Salford City badge? Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I could just go in the club. Uh, I can't believe I've not used any of these things and we've just kept the same badge all year. Maybe it's one of those things that even next year we get the Salford City badge as like a as our badge for the season and that just becomes the thing for the road to glory um or maybe we just experiment with different badges and stuff next year uh, in case people start price fixing stuff so i can't buy it um i'll probably pack it though wouldn't i yeah and let's face it no one's really gonna <laughs> gonna price fix a badge um so we get the La Liga challenge done. Uh, I somehow had the players in my club. I've opened about two untradeable packs since we had nothing in the club. Uh, and they were just from season objectives. And from that, I've had enough to complete the SBC, which is good. Uh, but you all know that I've spent my rare Electrum players pack luck on getting that messy this year. So uh, I, I absolutely do not get anything great from it. And we just take it. And we just put some more players back in the club. Um, I wonder later on in the week what the guaranteed La Liga. Liga tots pack 
is going to be rated like for the SBC. I wonder how much it's going to cost. Uh, I'm curious. Uh, I wonder if it'll be an 88 like the Prem one or whether it'll be cheaper because there's a lot less expensive players in La Liga Tots. I'm curious. What do you think? You'll have to let me know down below. But that is going to wrap things up for this episode, boys and girls. Uh, talking through the team then. I've started playing this wan as a centre-back in the second half. So I take David Luiz off, play Gomez and wan as centre-backs, and then I bring like Tierney or Grimaldo on uh, as a full-back, bringing Didi on as the CDM for Kovacic at some point, and then have Ryan Kent to come on for Atal, uh, and then I put him up front, Douglas Costa back to camp. You know the drill by now. Uh, but Kovacic, I don't know, man. I'm not particularly impressed with him. Uh, it'll be interesting to maybe try and use someone different next week, perhaps. And Atal, actually, at this point, feels a little bit like he's starting to get overshadowed or whatever the word, whatever the term is, uh, by Tots players and, and other players in my squad. So maybe it's time that he took a seat and went onto the bench and then came on as a, an impact sub, perhaps. Um, it seems weird because he's been such a great player for us. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to wrap things up. Thank you for watching. Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. I'd greatly appreciate that. We are aiming for 3,000 likes. Why don't you subscribe to the channel if you're new around here? I thank you for that. And of course, don't forget to come follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below, everyone. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay inside, all of that good stuff. I'll catch you tomorrow with another episode. Peace.